And you can put a block under each knee if you like, right? So bottoms of the feet touch, knees open, lengthen through your back. Um, you can place the hands on the lower belly, keep the chin up, shoulders rolled back, and feel the sacrum come to the floor. So the lower belly draws in, the lower back is on the floor, and gently allow the hips to roll open as you breathe in and breathe out. So really focusing on the inhale and the exhale. Again, feeling the belly rise on your inhale and fall on your exhale. Encourage the movement of the diaphragm as the shoulders roll back. Let's bring the hands together right over the chest. Lock your fingers together. Turn your palms to the ceiling and stretch the arms over the head. So you're going to reach the upper arm bones toward the floor, over the head. Chin stays lifted. Eyes relax. Lengthen the tailbone. Lengthen through the chest. And again, keep your tailbone on the floor. So that sacrum behind the lower belly is on the floor. Breathing in and breathing out. You're going to take that right knee and turn it over that left knee and bring the arms over to the right. Okay, so right knee over left, bring the arms over to the right. Again, just starting to warm up real easy. Breathing is key here. So we're going to breathe and move, breathe and move slowly. Open up, reach the arms up, and bring that left knee over the right, and bring the arms over the left. And just breathe in, breathe out. You guys really squeeze that belly when you're exhaling. Inhale, fill it up. Exhale, squeeze. Open everything up again. Bring the knees together, sweep the arms around, and hug the knees into the chest. Now again, we want to keep the sacrum drawn down flat into the floor. So right where the lower belly is, it's going to be anchoring down into that lower back. Arms are going to come down by our side. We're just going to warm up here. So you're going to lift the head, neck, and shoulders, squeeze the belly in. Just start to get the abs engaged, and pump your belly as you're breathing. So it's pump, pump, pump up the belly as we send the legs out. Just a quick little warm up here of the core. So breathing in and breathing out for eight, seven, six, five, just keep that belly moving, three, two, hands behind the head, go another set of eight, seven, keep squeezing the belly, six, ribs are strong, four, three, two, and one, take the legs straight up, straight up, we're going to drop that right and left leg down, you want to make sure again that sacrum's on the floor, try not to lift your tail up off the floor like that, take that right leg down, bring it up, take that left leg down, Bring it up, good. So you're gonna reach down, keep that lower back flat to the floor, keep your lower belly engaged, and make sure every time you exhale, you squeeze that belly in a little bit deeper. Inhale, fill it up. Getting the breath down into the abdomen so it's not rooted at the, sh at the upper chest, right? You wanna keep it breathing into the belly. Just four more. Four. Awesome. Bring those knees in, feet flat. Reach the arms down by our side. Lift through the chest. Reach right to left. Reach right and left and right and left and right. Two left. Keep your legs anchored here. Just moving your back like this. Reaching for your shoes, right? Left. Reach right, left. Reaching down for your ankles. Let's go. Four, three. One, bring it down to the center, tuck the knees in, rock yourself up to seated, lift up nice and tall, you guys, get this awesome stretch, again, pumping in the belly here, as we exhale, we'll come forward, keep breathing in, breathing out, inhale, lift up, exhale, come forward, squeeze the belly, one more time, inhale, lift up, exhale, squeeze the belly, hang out right here for three breaths, inhale and exhale, bring your hands to the floor, or the yoga block, make sure you're breathing into the belly, the shoulders roll down the back, Neck is nice and long. Inhale and exhale. Do it so good. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift up. Reach the hands back. Flatten up through your feet. Lift up in the tabletop position. So you want to open up your chest. Squeeze the backs of the upper arms, you guys. Right in through here. You want to get that nice and strong. Feels like the back of your armpits, the triceps. That upper part of your back is nice and toned. Lift up through the chest and breathe into the belly. Lift the chin. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, find your strength. One more time, breathe in and breathe out. Come on down and let's come into cat and cow. So you're gonna cross into this, right? Come onto hands and knees. I don't know if you wanna move, I know you're right behind there. If you wanna come a little bit closer. Is that Melissa? You wanna get away from that spot so you can see what's going on? Inhale, lift up into cat stretch, cow pose, right? Get that nice lift. Exhale into that cat stretch. Okay, so let's do that a few times. Inhale. And exhale. Do you want to move because your 
like right behind this and come up. You can come up to the, and you still won't be in the way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you can see what's going on. I can't see you. We're doing anything over there. <laughs> That's the key, right? One more step. Roll it up. And come up. Good. Come right into the center. You guys come into plank position. Stretch right left like that. You guys want to make sure the chest is nice and strong. Bend your knees a little bit. Pull your tailbone back. Pull your chest forward. Be on the inside of your hands here, guys. Index finger right here and thumb. You want to put your weight there. It'll roll to the outside of your pinky. Get nice and strong here. Tap those knees down one at a time. You go one, two, three. Just warming up here. Tap them both down at the same time for eight, seven, six. That is up. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna drop the knees down, chest and chin come down, hips in the air, elbows in, nice and strong. So your hips are up in the air, chest and chin are down, elbows are in. Lift your hips up nice and high, chest and chin down. Yeah, I know it's a hard one to get. Your chin goes down, your chest goes down, and you are breathing here. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale, rise up. We're gonna do that again. Come all the way up. Exhale into downward dog. Reach back. So you want to spread your fingers wide. Move the shoulders down the back. Lift your hips up nice and high. Awesome. Bring that right heel down. Left heel comes up. Right heel down. Now push your hips all the way to the right. Get that nice stretch into that sit bone, glute area. Do the same on the inside. So bend that left. Left heel comes down, right knee bend. Push your hip all the way over to the left. Come into the center, shoulders down. Bring the heels down, breathe in, breathe out. Come forward into plank position. We're gonna do this again. Your knees, chest, and chin go to the ground. Your butt stays in the air. Knees, chest, and chin. Open up your hips. Your body, I know it's a hard one. You might have to come down on the floor like this and then curl your toes and push your hips up. Like do it that way if you can't get down there, right? Chin is up, belly's in, and inhale, rise up again, come all the way up. Exhale, into downward dog. All right, we are gonna walk or jump our feet to the outside of our hands. So you can either walk up here like this or jump up here, right to the outside of your hands. Come down into squat, just warm up through the hip area. You guys wanna reach down into the hip joints, make sure that chest is nice and high. Sink your tailbone down, do the best you can, lift your chest up. Just work deep into the hips. Reach the hands to the floor or the yoga block. Straighten up the legs, parallel feet. Get a nice stretch through the backs of the legs. Reach down, breathe in, breathe out. Just open up through the lower back. Make sure you guys breathe into the belly. Shoulders down the back, neck is long. Take your right leg back. Come into that crescent lunge. Again, still warming up. So your left foot stays to the outside over there where that mat is and that right leg goes back. Your hands are gonna come down, that back knee comes down. Yep, left foot is all the way up, you guys. Make sure it's not back here. And you're gonna come down with the chest. Open up, good. And then lift up through the chest. Try that again, back leg is nice and long. Your toes can be curled or you can point them, whichever one works for you, and then lift up. And working through this low back here, come all the way down, 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 down. The end, come up, good. Let's reach it back into plank position. Get those hips nice and loose. Then you're gonna lift right to left here, lift right, lift left. Now you can skip this whole part. You don't have to do the lifting. You can be on your knees while you're doing the lifting. That's fine too. Keep your thumb and next finger down. Those four, three, two, and one. All right, drop the knees, chest, and chin. Lift the hips in the air, stretch the belly. Slide forward, inhaling up. Come all the way up, squeeze the back. Exhale into downward dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Back is wide. Hollow out your armpits, pull the belly in. Sitting bones up nice and high, you guys. And stretch those heels to the floor, stretch the backs and the knees. Make sure you're getting good breath into the belly. Walk or jump your feet to the outside of your hands. Again, again, just completing this warm up. Come down into your squat. Lift through the chest, ah, shoulders back. Inhale, exhale. Sink a little deeper into the hip joints. Bring the hands down, straight legs. Come into our forward bend, legs are still apart. Open up the backs of your legs here, the hamstrings, city goes to the sky, lower back gets open. And then we'll step back with that left foot. So you can bring your right foot on the mat if it's off. Left foot comes down, stretch it as far back as you can, you guys, and drop the back knee to the ground. Yep, and we'll come down. Make sure this foot is up, so you might have to use your hand to get it up there. So your foot's not all the way back here like that. Just kind of get it up there, and then come down, down, down. 
Inhale, come up. Good, try that again. Come down, down, down. Inhale, come up. One more time, get that lower back down there. Inhale, coming up. All right, we're gonna step back into plank. Come down through chaturanga, straight down to the ground. Inhale, drawing the body up. Exhale, into downward dog. From our downward dog, take your right leg up to the sky. Get that really nice stretch. And make sure you're breathing into the belly. Breathe, left leg is straight on the ground. Fingers have the weight, not your wrists, you guys. Arms are super straight. Bend that knee in the air and open up your hip. Open up your hip. Spread your back wide, relax the neck and jaw. Breathing is your key point here. Step that foot all the way forward, right up next to your right hand. Get it all the way up there, ground your back foot and lift. Good, so we're gonna drop into this, right, where you guys are hugging into the inner thighs. That back hip is pressing forward. You guys wanna keep that low back open, low belly engaged, and breathe into the belly as we lift. Turn your palms to the ceiling, stretch. Stretch your belly. Bring the hands back, stretch. Open up through the chest. Inhale and exhale. Come into warrior two, so we'll open up. Spread into that warrior two, get nice and strong. Turn your chin to the right. Left arm comes all the way up. Yep, there you go. Reach all the way back. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale, exhale. Reaching the arms all the way up and together. Turn back to the front. Bring your hands to the left corner of your yoga mat. Come all the way out to the left corner of your yoga mat. See if you can get all the way over there. Come down into your stretch of your hips. Sitting bones are open. Breathe in, breathe out to the belly. Two. And one. Release back into plank position. So you're going to get those wrists right under the shoulders. Head is up. Nice and strong plank. Come down to Chaturanga. Inhale, draw the body up. Tailbone is down. Hug the belly in. Exhale in. Downward dog. Reach back. Spread your fingers. Press through the knuckles. Hug the belly in. And get that left leg up in the air. Right leg is straight. Bend your knee. Yeah. Open your hip up, you guys. Just breathe and breathe out. Just find some life in the back of your right leg, in the front of your left hip, through the chest, through the upper back, and then step that foot forward. Whew. Right up there. Good. Ground your back foot. Come up into warrior one. So left foot forward, right leg back, hips forward. Reach the hands to the heart and lift. So I have my index fingers together. All the rest of the fingers are curled in. Thumbs cross, chest lift, chin lift. Turn your palms to the ceiling. Get a little more lift. Push down with your left hip and forward with the right hip. Bring the hands back. Open up your chest and chin. Breathe and breathe out. Come up into warrior two, so we'll open up. Your gaze is still forward. You turn open that back hip. Right arm is open, shoulders spread, hips spread, chin turns, come down into your hips, and then lean back to your back leg, to your straight leg, yeah. Lift up nice and high. Roll open that shoulder, open you guys at the shoulder area, just see if you can get a little bit more open. Breathe in, breathe out, come down with your left hip, rise up, bring the hands together here, and then come down to that corner, right corner of your yoga mat. Back foot turns in a little bit more, just to give you good stability. Reach for that corner, bring your head down, Bring your hips down. So come down into your hips as deep as you feel. You can. Two, and one, come into plank position. Woo! -hoo! All right, you guys are gonna come down on the hands and knees. You're gonna bring the wrists right underneath the shoulders. Back is spread, belly is in. Still breathing, don't hold your breath here. You wanna keep moving the breath here while you're holding that belly strong. Right leg, left arm, bring it in. Left leg, right arm. Bring it in and keep changing. You want to keep your chest and your tailbone in line, stretching and steady, and you're breathing in and out. Remember that abdominal work we did at the beginning? You guys want to keep the abdominal working as you're breathing. Find your strength, lift a little bit more. If you want to do this in plank on your toes the whole time, you can be on your toes instead of your knees. Opposite arm, opposite leg lifts. Opposite arm, opposite leg lifts. For four, head is up, you guys. Three, head is up. Two, you look so good. And one, awesome. Come right into plank position again and tapping the legs out to the side for eight, seven, six, five. Head is up, four, shoulders against the back, three, two, and one. Your feet are gonna go wide in this plank, so you're gonna get your feet out to the edges of your mat or maybe to the outside. Come all the way down, turn your toes and your legs out to the side. 
bring yourself up like you're doing that up dog. Tailbone is down. Stretch your legs. Open the front of the hips. Stretch through the chest. Come all the way down. Correct your legs in again and come into downward dog. Press it. So rest through those fingers. Now you want to hug into your hips here, just the way you spread them on that other one. You want to hug them in nice and strong. Get the backs of your legs straight, you guys. No bend to the knees. Length to your spine. Shoulders firm against your back. Breathing into the belly. Lift your left, right leg up as high as you can. Go ahead and get that stretch. So you're pulling your left heel down, your right heel up, and you're working that opposition. Go ahead and bend that knee in the air and open. Open, open, open. Now we're going to take that right leg under the left arm. Okay, can we get there? Right leg under the left side body, just like this. Swing it under and try to lift that leg up and lift the arm up. Now you can put the leg down if you need to keep the arm down. But squeeze your inner thighs, lift your head and chest. Three, two, and then we'll put the hand down, bring that leg up and pivot around into wild things. You're gonna drop, I know, drop that foot back. Yeah, look what you did. Spin around, open through the heart. Go up on your toes if you want to. Breathe in, breathe out, unwind. Bring that right leg around. Wasn't that fun, Carol? Step that forward. Woo! Cross your back leg and rise up. Woo! Fingers nice and strong and open. Bring that right arm down inside. You can put your arm to your thigh here, you guys. You can bring it down to the inside of your leg. Top arm is coming up. All right, we got this? Arm is in front, push that knee back. Top arm opens, back leg straight. Take this hand behind your back if you want to. You can always keep it up there. Turn your chin up, this shoulder's going back, you guys. If you want to, you can clasp your hands and get that good stretch here. Just open your throat, press down into your hips, breathe into the belly. Inhale and exhale into the belly. Release that right arm down, release that left arm up, and straighten out the leg for triangle pose. So you're gonna straighten out this leg, extend your torso to the side, breathe in, breathe out, take this top arm overhead, stretch your shoulder, please. Stretch that shoulder, arm is straight. Three, two, and one. Rise up with that arm and then pivot around to that leg. So you're gonna turn around, I'm just gonna change my back foot, which you need to change it, go for it. Turn your hips in, hug into the belly. Like, you're gonna take your spine and move it like a wave. So you're gonna do like cow pose and then cat stretch. But your legs stay the same. Cow pose and then cat stretch. Legs stay the same. One more time, cow pose and then cat stretch. And then elongate your spine right over your leg. Let your nose come down. Stretch the arms forward if you want to. And then reach the arms back if you want to. One, bring the hands forward, step the back leg in. Come into forward bend. Come into chair pose. Squeeze your hips. Everything nice and strong into the belly here, you guys. Just go breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Inhale, lift up. You're gonna pull that belly down. Lift up through the chest. Push your shoulders down the back. Now bring your hands to your heart here. And put your thumbs to your sternum. Lift your sternum up and open. Slide your sternum up and open your shoulders. Breathe, breathe, breathe. This is our key today. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Wrap the hands around again. Come into halfway lift. Let's get that up there. Step back into plank or jump back, however you want to get there, and then come down to chaturanga. Turn your legs out, legs wide here. Turn your toes out. Open, open, open. Lift. Get that opening through the hips. Come on down. Bring your legs in, correct your feet. Come into downward dog, you got it? Reach all the way back. Hug the belly in. Straighten out the backs of your legs, heels toward the floor, you guys. Left leg comes up to the sky. Let your head hang down, shoulders against the back. Ooh, looking so good. Kick the right heel down as you kick that left heel up. So you're finding more strength there. Bend the knee in the air, open your hip. A little bit more. All right, let's step that foot all the way forward. Again, if you don't make it, if you get stuck here, just push it with your hand. Get it all the way up there. I'm gonna come up and open, open, open. So you're gonna bring that left arm down, right down, inside. Yeah, right inside. Good, push that knee open. Top arm comes up, throat is long. Take your top arm behind your back if you want to. You don't have to do this part. You can 
stay up there. If you want to do that lock, you bring that left arm underneath and clasp your hands and stretch into your hips. You want to breathe into the belly, head and shoulders are back, buttocks is forward. You are breathing in and breathing out. Extend the left arm down, extend the right arm up, and straighten out your left leg. Triangle pose. Straighten out your left leg. Pull your torso to the left, everybody. Lift up through the head. Head, neck, and shoulders go back. Breathe in, breathe out. And then come down and roll over this front leg. So you can turn your back foot in. You can hop it in, however you want to get there. Just come right over this leg, straight leg. And when you come down here, you can do that cat and cow. So you're going to wave the body. You can do cat stretch. You can do cow pose. You can do that a few times. Cat stretch. Cow pose. And a couple more. Stretch the back with cat stretch. Come down to cow pose. One more time. And then elongate the spine right over the legs here. If you want to, you can slide your hands to the blocks of the floor forward. Get that deep stretch. You can slide it back. Get that deep stretch. Two and one. Step your back leg in. Come into forward fold. And come into halfway lift. So hands to the chest. Pull the sitting bones back up away from the backs of the heels. Or, you know, lift, lift, lift. So you get that nice stretch there. Pull the chest forward, lift through the neck. So the throat is lifted, belly's lifted, and we are breathing. Inhale and exhale. Reach the arms out to the side. Come all the way up to standing. Pull the hips strong. So the sides of the hips are pulling down. Tailbone pulling down. Belly is lifted while you are breathing. We're going to reach over to the right side. Make sure your left foot is rooted down, and you can grab your left wrist and pull it over. And feel it here, guys. Feel if you can open here at that arm shoulder area. Throat is open, don't let that fall. Keep those legs strong. Keep the breathing nice and dominant. Nice and powerful breath, that's what we're after. Let's come on up and over on the side. Right foot is rooted down, grab that right wrist, pull, pull, pull. Make sure you guys are open at the shoulder. Again, really robust in the breath. Awesome, let's come right into chair pose again. Squeeze into the hips. Again, keep on breathing. Hug right into the midline of the body. Bring the hands right into your chest here for prayer twist. So your feet are together. If they're not already there, make sure you get them there. Your knees are together. Your hips are rooted. So your hips are not going to turn like this when you do your twist. You're clamping this in. You're holding this in. You twist from the belly. So it's going to feel like your pubic bone is turning toward your left hip. The elbow goes. You're facing that left wall. You want to really hug down into your belly. Hug down. Everyone's facing that left wall, right? So you are hugging into the belly there. Yeah. You're getting that nice twist. Open up through the arms, hug that hip into the belly, belly into the hip, arms to the outside, throat is open, breathe, 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 knees together, everything is strong, come back into the center for gorilla pose, you hang down and you slide your palms under your feet and the elbows bend forward, you let your neck and shoulders relax, so you're stepping on the inside of your hands all the way up to your wrists, slide them up, right, so step on the inside of your wrists. Elbows bend forward, head hangs down, and we inhale, and we exhale. Let your back stretch, do like a cat stretch, right? Just think about that girl pose. Beautiful, roll the shoulders into the back as you come out of it. Bring those knees together, if they're not already together, feet together, shins together. Everything is zipped and hugged into the midline. Don't let these turn, and you're gonna to twist to the right side. I'm gonna bring that left elbow to the outside there. Look it up. Make sure you're turning like you're turning your pubic bone up into that right hip. Don't let your right hip go back. Pull your right hip forward so you're turning from the obliques. You're not turning by shifting your pelvis and you're breathing and breathing out. Open up those arms if you want to, right? Get that nice opening. And then release it down. All right, let's turn and come into plank position. Come all the way down to the ground. Inhale to up dog. Woo! Exhale to down dog. And we're gonna lift that left leg in the air because I forgot to do that red leg under and the wild thing on this side. You guys notice that? Yeah. You knew I missed it too. <laughs> you're like, we're keeping it quiet. So you're gonna thread your left leg under your right arm. Lift that right arm and squeeze your inner thigh up. Squeeze it up, you guys. Belly's working. Two and one. Bring that down. Thread, unthread. Bring it up. Lift it up over and pivot around and drop that foot. 
come into wild thing, lift. Inhale and exhale, go for it. Woo! All right, that line, beautiful. We got that in. Let's come into plank position, come down. Inhale to upward facing dog. Tailbone down. Reach up, pull your chest up, pull your neck up. Let your eyes go up here, but your forehead relax. Let your eyes roll up. If you want to, you can stick your tongue out. It's good for the throat. Up to you. And release it back into downward dog. Woo-hoo. All right, nice job, you guys. Take your right leg up. One more standing. Work strength here. Open up through your hip again. In front of your hip gives that opening. Bend your knee. You guys want to square your shoulders. So I want to take that right shoulder and make sure it's right down next to that left one. Make sure that that hip and thigh are opening up in the front. Belly opens. Bring that right foot forward. Woohoo! Let's rise up. Open up. Straight leg. Yay. Awesome. Awesome. We're going to come into archer's pose. So left knee bends. Your back knee bends. Bend your left knee. Straighten out that right. Pull that left elbow down to the floor and that right elbow up. Thumb is up. Pump your belly. So your belly is pumping like breath of fire or panting puppy. You're staring up at your thumb and you're pumping the belly and you're sinking down into it. And then we'll come into Skandasana. So for Skandasana, you put your hands to your lap, the blocks to the floor, and then you go to the right leg bend and you come down and stretch that left inner thigh. Yeah. Take your hand on your left leg and press it toward the floor. We want this inner thigh to come to the floor. Go for it. Hand on your left leg and press it down. Chest is up. Hips are open. You're breathing. You're feeling this, right? Yes. Woohoo! All right, you're gonna rise up, rise up, you guys. Reach the arms overhead. Woo! Turn the toes in the direction you are facing. So we're gonna turn the toes in that direction. Come down into your forward bend. Reach the hands all the way through. Open up the lower back and pump your breath into your belly. Pump your breath into your belly. Narrow in the front of your hips. Lengthen your spine. Stretch the backs of your legs. Toes are turned in slightly. Heels are pressed out slightly. Backs of the knees are straight. Clasp your hands behind your back here and stretch and get a good opening here. All about the breath, you guys. Belly's moving. You're breathing. You're inhaling. Throat is open. Don't tuck your head under. Right now, length to your neck. Yeah. As you're coming down at the hips. Two. All right, you're going to lift up your chest to the right side. Lift it up to the right side. Pull that right shoulder back. Come down, lift up the chest to the left side. Come up. Good. Release it down. Awesome. Now you're going to bring the hands to the ground. Turn your right foot forward. Turn your right to the toes of your right foot. Turn it to the front. And then pivot around. Okay, you with me? Yes? Everyone's with me. You're going to turn the toes of this right foot to the right. So your foot's going to turn that way. The toes of the other foot are going to turn that way as well. You're going to lift up and lift up your hips. You're all with me, right? Yep. Everyone's good on this one? You're going to lift up your bottom hip through your top hip, and you're breathing in and breathing out. Throat is open. All right, let's come back to plank position. You're going to go to your high push-up position. Come down to the ground, all the way to chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. Get that beautiful stretch as the eyes go up. You're breathing in and breathing out right here. So the belly's moving in your upward facing dog. And then we'll exhale into downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Left leg comes up to the sky. You guys look so good. We're almost done with the standing part. And then we get to do abs and deep stretches. So it all gets better. It's all downhill after this. <laughs> Knee bends in the air. Open up your hip. Open up your belly. Make sure your shoulders stay squared. You're inhaling and exhaling. And then tap that leg in and step that foot forward. Go ahead and squeeze it up there. Yeah. Rise up. Rise up. Straighten out that front leg. Chest is open. You're going to bend your back leg so that right knee is going to bend. Yep, the back leg, your right one. Bend your right one. Straighten out the left. Right elbow goes to the floor behind you. Left elbow goes up. you got to arch your spot. So bend the, the right one. Yeah. Bend that up. I know. This is the hard one. Straighten that one up. Yes. You got it. So arches pose. Do you want to sink into your hips and pump your belly as you stare at your thumb? Pump your belly. Pump, 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 pump. 